Bag fuel, baby. <laughs> so you got to start one of these, man. It's going to be a special um, interaction. You know, SO, everyone yeah, see sounds official. Yeah, I'm in the building. I'm in the building. What's popping? You yeah. All right, yo. Yeah, I'm good. I'm mad sleepy, though. I just landed from Detroit today, man. Rise and grind, you know what I'm saying? Getting that money. Stay from Detroit. Getting that bread. Back here to film, man. You know what I'm saying? Ish, thank you for coming on your day off, man. Ish, from the Joe Button extravaganza. I don't like the word podcast. The Joe Button Network. You can just call it Network. Joe Network. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back. There's thank so many things we're going to embark on. Um, One of the things we didn't um really you know, expand on is the real estate world. And um, I saw something where people are now saying it's better to rent apartments than to really go into home ownership based on interest rates and the price of mortgages and things of that nature. And also, an, it's an election year. And which presidential candidate do you think will be beneficial for the housing market? Um, you asked me like 10 questions. Absolutely. First off, don't listen to anybody that says that renting is better than owning. Mm. When you rent, what you get? Time. What time? To figure out a plan. No, Cheaper you pay you pay rent less still, money. Rent going up every month. But they Look, thinking about but they thinking about opposed to a house note that that's maybe three or four thousand dollars a month. If you like something nice, then they're paying fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars rent. So, rent, so, so they look at it. Where could you rent for $1,500? Bronx. Yeah, you can go to the Bronx. You yeah. can go to Queens. You can go to There's Queens. places. Where? You can get a one-bedroom in for $1,500. Oh, one-bedroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, they looking for, what, for what's comparable. Like, no, you know I'm saying, saying but if you, if you are in a position to buy a house, they don't have one-bedroom houses for sale. You know what I'm saying? You no. might get a co-op or something for, that's a one-bedroom, but traditionally, you're not going to get a one-bedroom house. New York is a little funny, but think about this. Even with that, you don't get any tax benefits from renting. Your rent going up every single year, whereas your mortgage will stay the same. Then you talked about interest rates. So let's say, hypothetically, interest rates is, are, are up now. Mm -hmm. But let's say in three years, interest rates go back to where they were. Yeah. You refinance your house, you're paying less. And your mortgage, you never going to pay less rent. Your rent not going to go down. Your landlord ain't going to be like, yo, you my nigga, yo. Knock a hundred off that rent. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, again, even from the tax benefit standpoint, and then every single year, especially as these houses get more and more and more expensive, you gaining more and more equity every year. It's houses that niggas bought three and four years ago that's worth two and two fifty three hundred more than what they paid three years ago. They could go borrow that money. They could send their kids to college on that money. They could buy a car with that money. If you're gonna buy a car, right? Let's say you buy you got a nice car. Let's say right. <laughs> let's say you buy your car. Mm -hmm. It's twelve fifteen hundred dollar car note. Yeah. Right. Boom. I'm gonna go borrow against my house a hundred grand. I'm gonna go buy that car. Know what the note is on that hundred grand? What, like five hundred? Like one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yeah, Whereas that same exact car mortgage. is cracking you for one for fifteen hundred a month. Yeah. Not just that. The car note. I mean, the money that you borrowed to get the yeah, car yeah. is a tax deduction from you. Your car interest ain't no tax deduction. Oh, so that's why you got that, three cars. I, 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 about, I about to say, is that why you got that nice car that you I don't have up? a nice car. Oh, but anyway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. So those are those are just some of the benefits that come along with home ownership that you you don't get with renting. I mean, right now people are saying just the mortgage is just so exorbitantly high because they even also said ish it's actually cheaper to go out to eat than it is to go food shopping. If you think about it, right now depends, we go out to eat. Depend on where you eat. <laughs> but, but of course, everybody but. don't eat at the same spots. But fam, for the three of us to go eat at McDonald's, we gonna spend fifty dollars. Yeah, we could get good at nigga. We from the bottom. We can get good meals for fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we went to Morgan when niggas was stealing ribs, putting them in their sweatpants, <laughs> <laughs> making, making making it work. I'm just saying, with regards to home ownership, I just don't like sometimes people be giving out the narrative. information. Yeah, and what happens is like these quote unquote gurus when they give out information. It scares people into um, attempting to do better. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, I, in my opinion, I'm no professional, I'm no guru. I just think that everybody's goal should be to own something. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. ownership, that's where um, 
you know, not even to make it racial, that's where we we see a lot of inequity with the whites versus the blacks. The two things that the white people do a lot of times is they own houses and they got life insurance. And that's where the gap is. Yo, we making the same amount of money as them. We just don't have the the um the net wealth. You know what I'm saying? And the net worth that they have because we don't own shit. So if you bought a four if well, you, what about the fact that they've been blocking black people no, from yeah, buying yeah, yeah. property? Lot, look, that, but that's what I I'm mean, saying. I mean, that's real. That ownership of owning them houses mm -hmm. when they were stopping us from getting in the game, yeah. that's what lead to them being way ahead of us in the wealth. Yes. You get what I'm saying? When we couldn't go buy a house in certain areas because of redlining, redlining. them niggas was buying houses in remote areas mm -hmm. for 30 grand. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Way out. Now them same way out areas is where everybody want to go. But but aren't we also afraid of the trickery with the buying? And, and I'm gonna use uptown for example. Remember when they was everybody was getting the, the brownstones for a dollar, dollar, and they was copping the brownstones, and then this was your this was your um mortgage, and then after ten years they didn't read the fine print of the clause, and the shit shot up on them, and, shit and like they that. couldn't keep the fucking shit, and then yep. they had to either lose it or sell it. I think people are scared right. of that. So cool. My thing is this: education is always key. Mm -hmm. Dog, I'm not signing no paper that I'm not reading. Me. But lawyers be having you sign the shit, and they and they don't be telling Ooh, you lawyer. what's going. Don't you have a, when I sign? My, for my lawyer house, got my best interest in mind. My yeah. lawyer will be like, "Yo, this is some bullshit. Don't sign this." That's you because you're in the business, and, and, and you get and and and, <laughs> and you know, like when I when I bought my first house, I came from the same college that you did. Mm -hmm. I I had to trust the lawyer. True. Like I, I didn't know the home lawyer, the 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 lady. She seemed trustworthy, and when it came down to it. They gave me a fucked up um, mortgage, but that's not the lawyer giving you the mortgage. No, I no, I know that. You see but, what I'm saying? Yeah, but she didn't tell me that this was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, this is how did it, when when you buy a house that's more than six hundred thousand dollars. This is how it was done, and blase, 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 blah. And you find out later it, it didn't have to be done like that. True. My first house I bought, I bought a three family. My very first house. If I had to take it back, I wouldn't have bought it in the same way that I bought it. But even when I signed the papers, I understood what I was signing. I didn't know that there was mad other options that I could have did it better. But I still did understand that what I'm signing. If, nowadays, the internet is free, bro. Like I tell everybody, the internet is free. But the options is everything. That I mean, true. So I, I read it and knew what it was saying, but I didn't know about the other options, and that's why I'm saying I got jerked. They could have gave me the other options. That's part of the. All right, so let me give you an example, right? You've been in the music business for mad long. Yes. If a nigga say, yo, I'm going to give Clue $50,000 for X, you're going to take the 50. You're not going to say, yo, here, really do it for 35. So the mortgage game is just that. It's a nigga that's writing loans for you. That's a game that they playing. That's not a bank. That's A, them, a lot of times, yeah. especially from where we at, we go to mortgage brokers. We don't necessarily go to Bank of America or, or Wells Fargo. Yes. We go to somebody that referred us to a mortgage broker. Yeah. That mortgage broker's game is to get as much bread as possible. It's like the car game. If a nigga say, yo, I, all right, so I did mortgages before. Mm -hmm. Boom. Hein comes to me. He says, yo, Ish, I'm buying this house. It's a half a million dollars. Cool. Let me start your paperwork. Now, when I shop the mortgage, I might shop that mortgage to three or four different banks. They're going to send me back terms, right? So Hein's house is $500,000. One point is equal to $5,000, right? So I might have a bank that says, Ish, if you could get Hein at 6%, I'm going to give you one point. If you can make Han sign at 7%, I might give you two points. So now, being selfish, it's in my best interest to say, Han, you know, you had that 30-day that late on your credit report back in 1922, my that's nigga. Crazy. I could have got you. And uh, now, that's, what the, that's the question. Is the real estate game going to become extremely predatory? It's toward... already. No, no, no. Any but, game that got money involved is predatory. But, but I'm talking about in terms for, like, People of our skin tone. It's just like how when credit cards first came in now, they don't even want you to pay the bill. They just want you to pay the interest. They always wanted that. That's I, not a white or a black thing, my nigga. They never That's, wanted you to pay the bill. They don't want you. Why do you think they give college kids these credit cards? The, the student loans. Yeah, because it's the same thing. It's not a color-based thing. The color's green. So All right, they got the white mortgage niggas doing the same shit that the black So then how for. do we leapfrog that, that predatory game then? 
That's the real issue. All right, then, so ish. educate. So when you mm-hmm. go buy a car, right? The, the car salesman is trying to talk you into the shit that's most beneficial for him. The mortgage broker is trying to talk you into the most beneficial shit for them. That's mm. not a, yo, they black, so I'm going to get them thing. That's a, yo, I want money, whether you purple, pink, black, or brown. Gotcha. I'm. But when you buy a car, they say there is a white price and a black price. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that Bro, they, yo, yo, I my, don't agree yo, with my that father's that. man was a car salesman. I believe you. He said there is a white price. And there's a black price. There's a black woman's price. There's a black man's price. There's a white woman's price. There's a white man's price. There are right. different prices that they come back with. And, and cool. And all of those things are based on education. All of those things are based on reading. The very first house I bought, I'm online all fucking day. I'm scared to death. I'm reading everything I can possibly read to ease me into this process. Niggas is on motherfucking Instagram for 40 hours a week. Nigga, read some shit. If you notice the biggest purchase of your fucking life, go read about buying homes. And it's gonna give you the some of the some, not all, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of pertinent information that you could use uh at your advantage. You get what I'm saying? Again, same shit as buying a car. What you just said on the last show with us that they went viral that niggas don't read. Yeah, they don't. So if they don't read, like, like I got two books That's out there. That's not racial. Yo, it's a guy that said. <laughs> That's yo. not racial, my nigga. If the people not reading, they being taken advantage of because of their ignorance, not because of their color. Today, I'm I'm a young black man. I'm getting a little old, but I'm, I'm a <laughs> black man. So when I walk into some of these spots, they don't know what the fuck I know. So they're going to try to get over on me the same way they're going to try to give over on her and the same way they're going to try to get over on you. It's up to you to educate yourself so you don't get taken advantage of. That's in any game. If you're a sports agent, guess what they're going to do? Nigga, you've been in music for 20 years. It's predatory. It's not predatory if you what? Knowledgeable. Niggas can't really eat off you and and take advantage of you and because of your with, knowledge. And then, and then they don't work with you. <laughs> because true. of your knowledge. And that's then, not yeah. based on, on, on you being scary. black. But, yo, but it's scary. But it's scary when you... See, that's the flip side. When you have too much knowledge, mm-hmm. right? People don't like that neither. That's yeah, scary for but, them, bro. I, so listen, the music is a little different. In regular car salesman, it's not going to turn you away because you're knowledgeable. I really want to make 10, but I'm going to take 3500 If you buying a house for, and you a mortgage broker, the nigga really might want to get two points, but he going to take the point. He's not going to say, nah, fuck you, walk out. Because it still represents money. It's just not as much money. They So back to the example I gave Han, right? I could talk you into an adjustable. They'll give me some more points. Or some more money to talk you into an adjustable as opposed to a fix. So when mm. niggas is getting mortgages, I'll ask them, yo, do you know your mortgage guy? And they be like, yeah, 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 that's my man. Yo, no, dog. Do you know your mortgage guy? Mm-hmm. Because the mortgage game is a funny game. So niggas could have great credit, great everything, right? That loan might take a nigga six hours, seven hours. It might take you a month to close it, but I'm talking about real work. Like the time, I've jumped on the phone. Yo, I did a couple emails. I did a couple. But have you like good credit score? Been on your job for two, three, four, five, ten years. Um, all your ducks line up. My nigga, we could close your loan like that. But if you're a harder, more complicated loan, then yeah, it takes more time. What I'm saying is, even the niggas that have great credentials, a, a fucking grimy mortgage nigga will take advantage of your ignorance and sell you some shitty product. It's because of things like that, right? why people have such reservations with these um gurus these True. these um True. corporate gurus these real estate gurus mm-hmm. what are we going to do to shift that now because all people are thinking is this person just wants to give me a course mm-hmm. that's it's a multi multi-layered course True. Oh, okay, you you got the first course. Now you know how to get a condo. Mm-hmm. This is the second course. That's all they seeing is people profiting it's not off the wrong the, with that. I understand that. But now, as time is going on, all people are saying is, all we're seeing is bad results more than positive results. It's not true. We're hearing about the bad results because like yeah. anything else, negativity is it the stuff that's further. the loudest. So um, if, 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 let's say SO is given a intro to music course. Mm-hmm. 10 people take the course. Six people, seven people do well from the information that they got from seventy percent. That's right. Power. Cool. The thirty, the thirty percent may one not have worked hard enough, right? Because I went to a class in two thousand and one, right? 
this is how I learned mad shit in the real estate game. Before I ever bought a house, I bought a seminar. It was fifteen hundred. Me mm-hmm. and my man split it. Right. Got you. I went there. First day they pitching. Yo, it's free the first day. Of course they selling you some shit. They were selling a seven day boot camp. My nigga, the boot camp was from eight in the morning to eight at night. The shit that they put in my brain twenty years ago, niggas that's real estate investors don't know today. That same exact course. If you go Google it online, niggas will say it's a scam. It wasn't a scam for me because the information that I got from that shit has been pivotal in my life. Some niggas don't want to work. They be just wanting some get rich. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, they said if I invest in this crypto, I can make X, Y, Z them all. It's the American way. It's application, my nigga. You got to, you got to, uh. Apply yourself. You got to apply what you've learned. You get what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. niggas just be wanting somebody to hold their hand to the millions, and that don't happen. Is it scammers out here? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is it niggas that's going to be taking advantage of other people? Yeah, but that's no different than the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I just don't like when we be getting these stamps. Yo, fam, if Heineken tells me how to start a podcast, I'm still going to read on my own. You get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna just take his word for it. I mean, most it. people are not gonna read on their own. Most people and are. And then they're gonna blame somebody else they're for their failure. No, they're gonna blame him because they're paying him for information. That's why. He can't execute for you. I know that. It's nuanced to everything, right? Mm-hmm. So if I'm telling, like, I mentor people. So when people hit me, the first thing I say is, yo, where do you live? Right? Real estate is regional. So the shit that I might tell an investor in New York or New Jersey, I'm not going to tell an investor in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell an investor somewhere else in the Midwest because the parameters are different. So the advice should be different. You get what I'm saying? It's not monolithic. So here, I'm going to say, SO, this is what you got to do. Boom, 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 boom. This is what I think your best course of action is. If you go to Atlanta, Atlanta don't have multifamily houses like mm-hmm. we have in New York and New Jersey. Mm-hmm. So I can't give them the same starter advice that I would give somebody that lives here. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, But it's still up to those two individuals, the person in New York and the person in Atlanta, to read on their own. Mm-hmm. I gave, I paid you for some information. I ain't, nigga, I could hook you up with the chick. But I can't put gonna, your dick but, in her. But if they're gonna okay. read, yeah. but listen, if, they, if, they, if they're gonna read, the argument is gonna say, "Well, what do I need you for?" Because the stuff that you gonna read, and some of the nuance that I know, and some of the tricks that I know, you might can't get from that book. You could get general knowledge from that book, and when you put mm-hmm. them the two together, it's gonna make you valuable. Gotcha. You okay. get what I'm saying? You've been in the game for twenty joints. Somebody, what's that book that uh, uh, they say everybody should read? The Kashif, the Kashif, everything you need to know. No, about, about the, the music, music business. business. Yes. Cool. So I'm gonna read that book if I want to be in the music business. Cool. But I guarantee you, nigga, you know mad shit that ain't in that book. Yeah, but but like you said about that course that you took, that book damn near taught me everything. That book did. Yeah, I heard because, that book is amazing. It's a black man that wrote it, and he wrote it in layman's terms. Mm-hmm. Straightforward. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that book was really what taught me the business side. Now, it I know, man. Niggas it can't that... teach you how to build a relationship or to how to put a deal together or how to be a middleman for a deal. No, yeah. but it can teach you... Basics. What, what you need to know and 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 the, and the knowledge that you need to to read contracts or paperwork gotcha. or when people are talking about certain language points yeah, yeah, yeah. and all jargon, that, jargon. you can tap it. You know the jargon that yes. they're talking about. So yes. they're like, "Oh well, I'm 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 going to throw you five points," and you'll be like, "That's not even fifty cent." Then they'll be like, "Oh shit, he he know he about up. points." Yeah. I got so you. again, but look, if if I, if you never read that book. And they say, yo, I'm I would have been way f- behind. I, if they I say, I'm going to throw you five points, you might be like, oh, all right, five points sound good. Yeah. No, nigga, that don't sound good. 12 points is a but dollar and three cents. you did your own research. You did mm-hmm. your own. So even if you went, yo, dog, if you take a class for three days in real estate, my nigga, can they really teach you the ins and outs of the real estate business Nothing. in three fucking days? I've been doing this shit for 20 years, and I'm my nigga still call me, yo, you know you can't get what are we talking about? You got to educate yourself, bro. I, and I don't like that now that the blacks are jumping into the course space because the whites have been in this course space forever. Dr. Al Lowry, um, uh, Carlton Sheets, uh, Russ Whitney. These niggas been doing this shit for 40 years, 30, 40 years. And now that we starting to do the uh, courses, we get the, yo, they scamming. It's always a, yo, they scamming. These niggas getting over. They sticking niggas up. They, uh, uh, uh. I don't and like that, that shit. And where's that no, narrative no, coming no, from? No, oh. I, I'm going to tell you where narrative is coming from. Others pay for information. True. 
Black people don't believe in paying for information. Well, never. Anything. They think that you're supposed to give them the information for free. because because and the, give them money because to tell them doesn't cost money. They don't they don't take into the account of the experience that you um acquired. Talking is free. How about how about how about the money that you spent, mm -hmm. the traveling that you've paid for, the lessons you learned, the, the money, money you, you spent lost. to learn the lessons, yeah, yeah, the, the money, the money you, you lost. Exactly. What are we talking about? So so if I'm telling you a consultation of two thousand dollars, I'm giving you a two thousand dollar consultation of two hundred thousand dollars of money of, of dollars that I have spent yes. already and years. The time you years. Can't, I'm you're jumping you, the line. So we just yes, had a, you jump in the line. We had a conversation the other day. Um, one of the callers called in and asked us um, if we could do it all over again, how qu how quickly could we get to where we are, right? And so one of my an my answer was, in the real estate game, if we could keep all of our knowledge, right? If we could keep the knowledge, I could go from zero to a million in two years. If I had the knowledge. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sure if you could keep all of your music knowledge, you would be able to excel way faster because you don't have to now I take the run. bumps and the bruises that you took on your journey. I would have ran the game. The setbacks, <laughs> you're not going to have them because yeah. you learned from that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, 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 don't walk over there, my nigga. It, it's a hole right there. You get what I'm saying? You ain't going to walk in that same hole. So that's my thing. Like, yo, I, I don't like it when we start to do some shit, it gets a black eye and it, it's discouraging. Even the shit that happened with Envy and, and Caesar. Everybody and their mother tried to get me to talk on that. Every platform I went on, they tried to get me to talk on that. And I'm like, yo, I don't like talking on those guys because one, I never did no business with them. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. So, and even if I did know something that they was doing, I'm not ratting on them niggas because that's not who I am. But my thing with that is, fam, when Goldman Sachs loses a hundred billion dollars, the CEO still get paid bonuses. We don't look at them like, yo, these niggas are scammers. Yo, don't invest mm -hmm. your money with J.P. Morgan. Niggas are still going over there giving J.P. Morgan they fucking money. Niggas are still going to Goldman Sachs giving them their money. Only when it's us do we be like, yo, don't fuck with nothing real estate related because these two dudes have been accused of some shit. <laughs> these two, exactly. You get what I'm saying? It's a few more, but yo, come on, dog. Talk want... about all the niggas that took their family from shit to sugar with the real estate vehicle. Yeah. The shit that bothers me is the word accused. That bothers me because when, when as soon as you accuse somebody, everybody just automatically thinks that they're guilty. guilty. And I and I and that's the part with me because and I and I said this when we had Rory on the show mm -hmm. and Heineken said, Oh, I think Puffy's 60% guilty. Rory said, yo, he did the shit. And I said, Well, how how do y'all know? Because you because let me say this, because you wasn't there, right? Sure. And on top of it, me and him have been ridiculed and lied on and accused and everything that has said it was 100% a lie. None of it was truth, right? And people was going around believing that. So how am I going to turn around and, do the same and be thing a man to somebody else. and do the same thing to somebody right. else knowingly You're what right. happened to me was total lies. You're right. And that's the point that I'll be trying to explain to everybody of, upon what's, what's going on. They never putting themselves in another motherfucker's shoe. And they never, but they never will. And also, too, when I said the 60% thing, it the, the footage got cut. But if you put a magnifying glass on all of us and they put that press machine behind it, it's going to look the we same. We all guilty. We Yo, all guilty. We all say enemy of the state. Yeah, we'll, we all we'll say enemy of the state. Yeah. 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 They said the first thing you do is you destroy your niggas' image publicly. Yeah. That's the it, first no, thing you do. First rule of attack. Yeah. So... We see it happening every fucking day. In real Especially time. when it comes to us, we see it happening. But why do people us. keep falling for the same thing? Yo, and dog. I, and I feel like it's people hate. People are miserable. And that, that's what I said. People said. miserable. It's hate. <laughs> dog, they want to hear negativity. Humans rot, thrive off of negativity. We said this multiple Bro, times. back to our... Look how we came full circle. Fam, the three or four niggas that's not successful from the real estate program gonna be way louder than the six or seven niggas that's getting money over here because and the six or seven niggas don't got no time for the bullshit. They trying to get yeah, some chicken. Of course. They out here trying to get to it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. The four niggas over there, they miserable. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. One of the worst things I've realized since being on the podcast is that I didn't know this existed. 
the mean and evil shit that niggas be saying yeah. to strangers, dog. I didn't know that existed. Me neither. Like I can only imagine what Kim Kardashian and Beyonce and Jay and 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 fucking uh, Wale or or J Cole get Facts. like J Cole and Kendrick and these niggas now. Do you know what them niggas DMs probably look like? It's, it's, uh, yo, you bitch ass nigga, Cole gonna smoke your boot, you fat. Yo, and that was yeah. the start. Yo, yo, you bitch ass nigga, fuck you, nigga Kendrick. What's up? All like, yo, these people don't got nothing to do, bro, except say mean shit to strangers. But you know what it that is? That fucked me you, up. You know what I say to him? Yeah, he's funny. You ready? Your mother. That's it. And it's so, and it's on after that. Oh, so, so, yo, yeah. your, mother your mother love it. No, mm. but look, no, I just said this. <laughs> I've been doing this lately, right? I, I'll go look at it. Yep, 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 yep. Instagram better be private. Oh, yeah, oh no, 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 no. I'm the it reverse. Better be private. No, no, I'm the reverse. If I get on your page and you mm, want some bullshit. They always private, though. Nigga, is. I come from the hood, nigga. I could crack. They always I'm gonna private. Eat your is. fucking lunch, nigga. You they, better... don't, they don't come back out to play because I'll be calling Heineken. I'll be like, yo, that's when a nigga say something. Your mother love it. I, I'm, I'm going straight to the judge. <laughs> but me, I'll be like this. You a coward. Word. Like, I'm you talking you. real tough on a private page? Show your face. Bruh. The one and thing. You, and you got an avatar. Yeah. It don't even be No, no, no. I call them the yeah. egg. Yeah, they be, they be having the egg. And Esso said, how am I going to take anybody serious who don't got the courage to put, put their face and their thoughts, they thoughts online yeah. for public consumption? Bro. You're a coward. Because it's usually your man, so you don't even know. He's a coward it, it could too, be that Because niggas be knowing personal shit. Yeah, they uh -huh. know. But, but back to Hayden. what we're saying. So the shit with, hmm. with, with um, the realist Puff, Puff or, yeah. or any of them. Envy, you see, bro, you niggas want you to be guilty. Yep. Because it adds conversation in a whack-ass life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I don't mm. want a nigga that I know to be going to jail. I don't know Envy like that. I don't mm. want Envy to go to jail. I don't want these niggas. I want the people, if they did something wrong to somebody, I want those people to be compensated and made whole for whatever may or may not have taken place. If the, if but I don't want to see another black man go to jail. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not rooting for you to go to jail. These niggas be happy no, when rooting. something happens. A nigga wife get yeah. caught cheating. Niggas oh, be happy. Oh, I'm happy his wife yep, is sucking yep. another nigga dick. What the fuck you Yo, I never liked him anyway. Like, what the fuck? Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh, nigga, that's why you, you think you so you dope. Know that's why your bitch fucking other niggas. What did that do for you? Can it we made them feel good because they bitch they was fucking up. You know what? They bitch was fucking up. Can niggas. we transition? I saw something like that happen to you in real time, and it Fucked with me. What? To me? Yes, I'm gonna tell you why. When this motherfucker got caught on camera with the white girl, at Dr. Umar, okay. I felt like he thought y'all was gonna jump on him about it first. And when he mentioned your lady, right? That's not what happened. That fucked with me. Cause I'm like, that's still his. That's not the what mother. Happened. What happened was, yeah. they hyped up the interview like for a month before yeah. we did it, right? So they like, oh, 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 yeah. Ish versus Dr. Umar, oh, oh, oh. Like, <laughs> my thing, because they look at me like the, the analytic on the show, yeah. right? So they look at me like the nerd on the show. So if Dr. Umar is coming to town, they, they try to do the same thing with Candace. Joe just interviewed Candace. I wasn't there. We weren't there. But they like, oh, Ish it, Candace, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. So they are, so what I think happened was Dr. Umar saw all of the rhetoric and he did his own research. So I, when we started to engage, nobody even said nothing about nothing racially charged, nothing yeah. racially motivated. He immediately went to, yo, let me ask you a question. Up, uh, something just came to my mind. It didn't come to your mind, nigga. You came in here yeah, with that ammo. Yeah, why you sound just like ammo. that? Yeah. You came in here with that why ammo. Why you sound you impersonating him really he did. Oh, something just came to my mind. But, but, but my thing was. We wasn't even talking about that. But, but I felt like this is just me assuming me doing media for years mm -hmm. and people feeling like what's going to be axed. Mm -hmm. You know when you do sit downs, there's going to be things that's asked about mm -hmm. Joe, Melissa, and Flip, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You prep for that. We don't ask them. No, no I'm saying I'm when he's. Yeah, you got I know, him, but I'm just trying to get this out. So when he went after you in that way, I'm like, he probably thinking, this is the only guy I can get this off and take the smoke off of me because that video went viral when he was sitting there, you know, cheesing with the white girls. First off, our interview was five hours and 10 minutes. Wow. Mm. The Dr. Umar interview. So, of course, it's, it's still a business. So we clipped yeah. the interview up to sell the interview. The, the full you thing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool. That's, that's, that's just the nature of the beast. Um... I could have taken an offensive the way he did, but it wouldn't have made for good podcasting. 
Mm -hmm. Still selling the product. So Joe still got to sell the product. We still got to make it palatable for the average person. I already have the stamp of being an argumentative dude. So I really didn't want to argue. I could have really... Like I'm a nerd, be like I was I'm gonna well, ask you. I, I was do, gonna ask. I could have really made I, when like, I looked at oh, it. I was gonna be like, why Ish didn't say I this? Said like, that like, like, we I, know you. I, yo, I, I personally said <laughs> I, I could have said two or three things when he said it. I could have been like, I said, honey, I, I would have turned around and said, my nigga. But what about blase, blase, blah, no, and blase, blah? Come I on. Oh, so this is what I said. I said one, he really can't. I told Joe. I said, yo. He can't say nothing disrespectful about my family or we going to go left. He can't say nothing disrespectful about my girl or we going to go left. You get what I'm saying? He didn't say nothing disrespectful. He's saying, yo, historically, white people are guilty of X. True. They are. Nobody can refute that. You get what I'm saying? My thing is, the same way when we, again, just came full circle, mm -hmm. fam, us as black people, in my opinion, my nigga, fuck the whites. We keep leaning on what they did. Fuck what they did. Fuck what they doing. They can't stop us from doing nothing. But as long as we say, you know what, yo, I can't climb this mountain because, yo, white man got his foot on my neck. If a white man got his foot on your neck, bite his foot, my nigga. The fuck is we talking about? Like, they can't <laughs> stop you from being successful. So that's my message that I'm always trying to push. And niggas be arguing that. And I don't see how we argue that because we've seen so many people that come from worse Situ circumstances and situations than we do that make it. It's what you mean. You don't know why. You know our black people gotta blame somebody. Mm. Come on, bro. Like, so like, 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 like you said when when niggas is being real. When you talking about when we talking about the money and the mortgages and why they don't buy the property and the insurance, it all goes back to all the same things too. We just have tendencies that we really do in our black mm. people when it comes to a relationship the woman got to blame the nigga he did something wrong the yep. nigga got to blame the girl she's slacking somebody got to be to blame we're in business we're podcasting the numbers go up and down it could just be people not watching it but yo ish somebody in here is not performing something is wrong here you know what I'm saying? We always looking to blame. I don't have my money. You know why? Because this motherfucker didn't put me in position <laughs> to get the money. Yo, that's real you know what shit. I'm this is our black people. I'm, I'm not disagreeing. And, and with for you. some reason, and then the one that lifts themselves up by the bootstraps, he's an anomaly. We're not gonna go based upon the bootstrap, nigga. Because then I would have to be a bootstrap nigga no, but too. Because no. then I'm forced to look in the mirror. Mirror, that's yep. what I'm saying. I gotta be a bootstrap nigga too. I'm forced to look in the mirror and say, mm. "Yo, this nigga played point guard. I played the two guard. This nigga was busting his ass in the park, shooting jump sh jump shots with the street lights on. Mm -hmm. I was over here drinking Boone's Farms and Mad and Dog 2020 yeah. and, and fucking yep. bitches. Yes. He getting nicer and nicer and nicer. I'm staying the same. Now this nigga went high D1. You know what I'm gonna say? Yo, bro, Yo, I don't want, I don't want done weeds. I know I don't want D1 too. If my mother worked for um MTV, yeah, yeah. Yo, his mother worked for Chase Bank, and they moved some. Yep. Yo, you gonna make an excuse yeah, yeah. why this nigga is progressing yep. and you not? Yep. Nobody want to look in the mirror and do the self reflection and say, and say this Yo, is my fault. Ish, get your dumb ass up off the couch and do something. You get what I'm saying? It's easier to blame somebody else for why you don't have or why you are at a disadvantage instead of saying, fuck it. Yo, we come from X. We already know where we come from. It don't even need to be talked about. We was poor, nigga. But everybody talk about it. I, I don't, don't understand. It's, it's it's programming. Like, like, I don't understand. It's programming. And, and, and then motherfuckers talk about it, right, in, in a way as if that's still going on and, 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 and they live there. Niggas come to see me and they be like, Queens, I be like, I, I love Queens, but... I don't have a house in Queens. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not I'm not in Southside no more. So I'm telling you about the experience and the beauty of Southside. Mm -hmm. So you know what you can do? You can grab on that shit and get yourself up out that motherfucker too mm -hmm. and do something bigger. I'm not telling you all this these things because I'm doing them right now or I'm praising them or I'm not praising Absolutely. them. I'm, I'm giving you my experience and things that I encountered mm -hmm. to get around them and what True. Queens and what that state of mind and that land has given me True. my pride and everything. True. And But people don't like... They don't understand that they're stuck in that one in that one time, and they can't get out of that for some reason. Um, associations, yo, right? Like we know niggas, and we we older. Everybody in here in their forties, 
Not well, ghosts, not not him, not beast, just us oh. three. Well, <laughs> it's people that <laughs> never left their community. Never. It's people that only been to three or four states in their whole life. So if you don't look and see um, something that's tangible, you think it's impossible. You think it's white shit. You get that's what I'm saying? Right, Yo, right. you think you live in a nice house? Oh man, this nigga's way white, bro. He's doing that. Yeah, he's way white. Bro, what the fuck is we talking about? Oh, you up there with them white people? I see you, my mm-hmm. guy. Yo, no, I just you got a nice saying? house. Like, that shit is fake. Dog, this is a true story. I was like 20 something. Went to the real estate seminar. Came home telling my mother, my nigga, this is my mother. She loves me dearly. <laughs> what I'm trying to do. My mother said, yo, you and your big dreams. Sarcastically. Your mother wants what's best for you, but it's the programming that we can't possibly attain certain shit and we can't possibly reach certain heights because that is just passed down programming. It's programming. Know. You know your mother want to see you do well, but they just think it's impossible for you to do well, so they don't want you to go through the stress of trying. I'm, I'm going to give you a jewel. And you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm going to give you a jewel, and my dad probably going to be mad if he ever sees this. Cool and people, you know, my father, he is still, he's still the same. Cool that's how, how man. They be chilling, cool drinking, partying together, right? <laughs> but I say this to my father. This is real shit. Up until Corona hit, and he saw the music business mailing me checks in Corona where because they was coming to his mm-hmm, house because mm-hmm. I was down there taking care of them, he thought I sold drugs. Yeah. He didn't even think I was really in the music business. Is that crazy? What, like, Why do you think that is? I because of the it's, money. Because of the money. Because, no money because, in the, because the money that I was making, the lifestyle that I was living. Yo, how can you come in and stay with us for eight weeks at and a don't time? Have to go punch and ten weeks at a time, and you paying your bills and yes. and and how are you doing this? Oh, we doing it online. Right, right. But I, ish. I, you got but one ish. of your niggas dropping you talk, money off. You go. talk, but but you talking about a guy who survived the civil rights. He was in it in his twenties. All they knew was you're gonna go to college, Work. get a good job, Work you're gonna for get a the house for twenty five yes. years. Twenty five years. Get the years retirement. Retirement. There was never a remember up until the eighties even saying you were an entrepreneur, you were looked at like an alien. What do you mean an entrepreneur? You're going to work for yourself and not have a steady check? Mm -hmm. So as the program is going, now culture's shifting. People are like, just how you said, everybody's, and it's happening fast. Yeah, it is. This digital thing happened in 10 years, Mm -hmm. if you think about it. Now he's like, how's my son sitting here getting money mailed to him? So guess what benefits to keep that program? Us. No, the, it benefits the the niggas that's controlling this to to make you say, Yo, oh, I'm, I'm fuck with I real estate because them niggas is scamming over there. Go because the job. more that the blacks is fucking with real estate, now they not controlling that no more, yeah. right? Like we've walked by in our communities, we walked by that fucked up building on the corner since mm. we was in kindergarten, and nobody never bought it. And then when the white people come by it, we be tight. <laughs> Yo, they gentrifying this shit. Yeah, Yo, yeah, fuck yeah, these yeah, niggas. Yeah, get them out of here. Yo, they niggas gonna come around here and buy Yo, it, they, everything. Yo, they gonna try to take over our shit. My nigga, you got two Rolexes. You done had six Benzes. Yeah. Why the fuck you ain't buy it? That's a fact. Yo, I ain't what have no, about? You know you know I, but you, I ain't have no money. But you know what the key to the <laughs> society is here for us black people? And this is real shit. Is the, uh, the uh, entrepreneurs like us gotta fuck with the working class niggas. Yeah. You know why? Because the working class niggas is the ones who got the 401k. They can borrow the money off of their job Daddy cash fast. Flow. They usually got good. See? Keep going. I'm wrong. No, no he's agreeing you're wrong. with you. No, you right and wrong. But I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Oh. They 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 usually will have money coming in. So it's if they if they if they invest in you, they don't have to look for the money right back. But then the nigga who's working the regular, I mean, who's doing the regular, I'm I'm working for myself and all that. He doesn't appreciate the working class nigga. And he treats the working class nigga like a herd. Like a sucker. You know what I'm saying? But the working class nigga is the man that can sit around and say, yo, my nigga, you need 50K right now. Normally, I'm talking about people that's on that's on, on, no, on their dean. I feel you. Yeah. You need 50K right now. I can go borrow this 50K and to one. invest into some shit to get some money. These other motherfuckers that's on, 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 on the street... They can't do it, nor would mm-hmm. I look to do that. You know why? Because I'm already in business for myself. So I'm not going to turn around and go into business with it's when I'm already put, funneling money to work my own business. No. What he's saying is the traditional way. Now, there's new information. 
Mm -hmm. These young boys not playing with you. The entrepreneur niggas have found a way where they don't need the nine to five niggas no more. These young boys are getting money to the entrepreneurs from these banks and these lines of credit and these business business cards and all of that shit. They have learned what these people have been doing for decades and now they mastering it. And so I say that to say, Mm -hmm. these are just all the vehicles now that they kept from us. You know what I'm saying? They kept the shit from us for decades. Now the blacks is getting wind of it. They scared. Yeah. Yeah, because they, because listen, I, I just went for a credit line where the dude told me, like, yo, if you only, if, if I only give you 50000 I don't have to run all the information. No doc. And all that stuff no like doc. this. Look, 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 <laughs> look. He said, but they changed it now on me. That he didn't approve me and he gave me a credit card. I got the credit card, the business, oh, well, you want to transfer and all that. I said, I didn't want that. I, I didn't really need the credit card. I wanted the credit line. You want both. I got, yeah. yeah, no, I do want both. But I didn't want one or the other. So when I'm telling him, like, if I'm not going to get the credit line, why are you going to give me more on the card? I need the credit line. See? Go ahead. You're my man. I love you. So tell me. I'm just telling you. See, that's that's wrong thinking. So what happens is you take the credit card and you use the credit card. it's a business card. It's a business card. It's it's not not going against your personal credit. It's not. So what you're going to do is you're going to use that card responsibly for about six months. Okay. And now, when I go reapply for the line of credit, I got a track record and a relationship with that particular bank, which now is going to make you more favorable to getting that line of credit that was your original goal. Got you. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You want to fuck the bitch. So instead but... of using my... <laughs> so, so, you to, so, you got, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you what you're telling me right now is <laughs> instead, of using my, instead of using my American Express Gold to Platinum, fuck that right now and use that business card. I would, I would, you, it's a personal American Express? One is personal, one is business. I got, but you got to pay the American Express. Uh-huh. So no, I'm gonna use the business card because it depends on what bank it is. Even some of those cards be having 18 months, 12 mm-hmm. months, no interest. Yeah, mine has no interest. So now on I'm gonna burn that bitch down, yeah. and I'm not paying no interest, interest. on the card. And you. at the same time, again, I'm building a relationship with mm-hmm. said bank. Mm-hmm. So now, once I build that relationship in eight or nine months, I might hit the niggas like, "Yo, I need a hundred mm-hmm. and a line of credit." Yeah. Here go my track record with y'all. I'm, yep. I'm spending mad money with y'all, and I'm paying it back diligently. Now y'all know I ain't no bullshit business. Give me some bread. Gotcha. Don't just say no to the credit card. Data. Not just that. No, I got it. I just did it. Oh, I, yeah. I got and, it. I got it. It's on my And these it. niggas will show you how to pull that money off them cards and translate that shit to cash. Gotcha. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's just mad shit nowadays yeah, I can pull that money off of we it didn't know that. nothing mm-hmm. about that these niggas... Yeah, now niggas is doing that, what you just did, they'll take that credit card and go to Cleveland and buy a four family buy with that credit card. Mm-hmm. That that Now, that four family mm-hmm. makes you 1800 a month. That's a no money down four family that you got. Now you can refinance that four family, pay the credit card back, you still got the four family, and let's start back from scratch. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? And that's the games that niggas is running out here. And you that's why they don't need the nine to five nigga no more. That's why they don't need them. Because shit. even because right now, what I realize that even if even if they can't pay the business shit back, they just like fuck it. So what? Because it doesn't affect. I wouldn't my person. say that. No, but, but I'm saying I'm saying yeah. I'm talking about you. You yeah, know I'm saying, who, who I'm, saying, I'm talking I'm about? That that they, they, they going for it. Yeah, so, it. So, so they going for it. So it's like if I don't make it, I'm going out in John Blaze right but, here, and it doesn't even matter because it's not going to affect my personal. It shit. will because what's going to happen is you still are a guarantor until your business gets to a certain level where they don't need a PG. You still what's a PG? A personal guarantor. Okay, gotcha. So when you got that credit card, mm-hmm. you put your name down, you put your social down. It's not going to show on your personal credit report. Mm-hmm. But if you go into default, they are coming to get their bread because you personally guaranteed that debt. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Only until your company gets to a certain point are you getting um, credit cards and lines of credit. So they would have to just put that shit in a bankruptcy to get away with it, which Maybe. would be the same thing. Yeah, but again, yo, it's so much thing. good shit that you could do doing stand-up business mm-hmm. that you don't even got to think like that no more. I don't got to burn these credit cards down. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm thinking about not the true. person who, who, I mean, mm. who, who makes a mistake. A you know mistake what I'm saying? is a mistake, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that you make a mistake and you get really, really jammed up. And, and I, and I think happened. that people are just looking for ways that if I really go for it and I get jammed up, it's not going to affect me like, I think for I the went, rest of my life. I went for it. Yeah, people are looking for hope without being penalized. That's what it seems like, it's, right? It's a fantasy. I, I agree. You can't get rich without hard work, my nigga. It don't have... Mm-hmm. Yo, the percentage of that happening is this. 
Niggas see Jay Z. Niggas see uh, all these. They just see Bron and they see all of these niggas that got this money. My nigga, you ain't see these niggas busting they ass day in and day out, Non-stop. not getting no sleep. Bro, I just started the clothing shit. Did I think that? Did, my nigga, I wasn't sleeping the first couple weeks. I'm talking about zero sleep. I know, bro. How, so I didn't think that. I, because I didn't know what it entailed. You get what I'm saying? So now I'm going through that experience. I'm like, yo, this shit hard as hell, my nigga. So I can only imagine Damon John and them selling their shit out the trunk at Greek Fest before FUBU became what it was. These I niggas was busting their ass. I can't even see niggas buying clothes out the trunk at that time, which, is, which would be It wasn't no internet. Thing. It wasn't no internet. Nigga, let's load up these. We're going to load up a van. We're going to load up some trunks. And we going to Atlanta for Freak Nick. And we bumping our shit out money. our car. With yep. the niggas that got that bread. We bumping our shit out our car. See these niggas was selling their shit out the car. That was a different type of hustle. These niggas today is spoil you. I could just download my shit on the DSP. That's it. But that don't mean niggas going to listen to it. True. I'm just saying mm-hmm. the work piece. Like, you appreciate some shit when you worked for it. You look at that shit like a grain of salt when you didn't have to put in no real work for it. That's a fact. You get what I'm saying? And so we are now at this age where we just want this, this instant gratification, this microwave society where niggas just want to be rich with no effort. That shit is crazy, my nigga. And there's only two ways that can happen, and both of them is ridiculous. Scamming and drug dealing. No, I mean, no even you drug dealing is a lot of work. Hold on, hold on. Yo, you dog, do, you do, do a lot of work, nigga, but you do a lot of work, drug money. dealing. That ain't easy money. No. Yeah, you do a lot of work, the drug dealing. The lotto, dealer. which is ridiculous, yep. or if your parents have a great life insurance, which means now you got to lose your parents for a come up. So it's both ridiculousness. Yeah, like, that's the only I mean, way. The man, two ways, I, because when you mention that with the insurance and how, that's how all these um families kept the money in line. Yes, bro. There was like, yeah. oh, this great in life yes. insurance family shot up, kept bro. shooting up. You never seen um what's the shit? Uh, uh, like I be watching the house shows where the niggas be uh flip this house and all yeah, those I've shows, seen that. Right, so you'll you'll see a white couple, right? They try and buy a house in St. Lucia somewhere. They be like, oh, Bill, what do you do? He be like, oh, well, I'm a physical education teacher. <laughs> oh, Sarah, what do you do? Oh, well, I'm a part-time uh, sous chef. Oh, what's Yo. your budget? They'd be like, 1.4? You'd be like, 1.4? What? Bitch, what kind of gym you teaching? Mm-hmm. They get that money from insurance. These mm-hmm. niggas' wealth be coming from home ownership mm-hmm. insurance. When mm-hmm. their parents pass away, they get six, seven, eight hundred grand sometimes. More. My father passed away. My nigga, I got... Roughly three and change, and that's with my family still in mad money. I got three and change. You get what I'm saying? So that's where you get the wealth jumps. So when I say home ownership, look, it's important. Circling back, my nigga. When you rent for twenty years, you can't leave your fucking kids nothing. When you own that same house and you bust your ass for twenty years, when you pass away, your kids got a nest egg that they could now have their family live in, or they could sell and get a lump sum of money to continue with your lineage. When you renting, you can't leave them nothing. Mm-mm. You don't own a fucking thing. Just debt. <laughs> that's about it. That that's the importance of home ownership right there. So when you get your flip this house show, make make me your protege. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> Yo, I know the name of the show. Yo, Yo, Flip flip with Ish. (laughs) Oh, they gonna think Queen Queen Flip gonna be like, come through, man. Oh yeah, Flip with Ish. Flip and Ish. Flip. flip. That's funny. But no, like just just simple shit. Yo, I I think we make shit um, harder than it has to be, and I think that our habits and our cultural um, programming. Yeah, yo. Doesn't that go back to what I said about the mentality? Yeah. Or how we always yeah. think it's something different. We're always looking for more. We're looking for somebody to uh, do. Yeah. We're looking to make an excuse. We're looking to place blame instead of just saying, like, yo, let me just get up and let I me just myself. try to. Yeah, yeah. Or, or e- even not fix myself. Let's try this. I'm not just going to blame nobody. Let's just start there. I'm, I'm where not even I am talk because about, of myself. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna even talk about fixing myself. I'm just not gonna say I'm not. I'm not a successful podcaster because Space Ghost isn't doing my camera work. I'm not gonna say that. 
I'm 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 just gonna go here and I'm Yo. gonna figure out where to go. <laughs> I'm gonna how to do I'm it. I'm gonna study <laughs> podcasters that I think are successful, and I'm gonna try to take a little piece from this person, mm -hmm. a little piece from that person, a little piece from that person, so I can hone my ability to become a better podcaster. Maybe that's I what to I want to do. Maybe I need to get better, and that's and that's what I, I would tell people because even mm -hmm. when we were going through the roof and we were the new niggas on, on the block, I was in the mirror working on my stuttering, bro. Working, working, saying, taking time, saying, yo, Han, I'm going to just stay home and think today, and mm -hmm. I'm going to work on, on my stuttering today. Bro. And, yo, I'm going to think about- It don't about, get more real than that. Yo, that's real shit. It don't get more real than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know this particular area is, is something that I need to work on. You understand what I'm saying? I might not be the most confident in this area, so I'm going to do what I got to do to get yeah. better at that. Mm -hmm. and, and I think what I've- you know, That's it. People always see the end result, and they never see the work in between. Work. And I think- Going forward, it's tricky because if people are seeing the work in between, you're showing vulnerability True. and weaknesses that can True. be weaponized against you later on in the in the future. It, it can be. Tell nigga suck my dick, huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 yeah. I, don't, I don't worry Tell about I don't worry I don't about about, about the weaponizing. What I worry about is people will place judgment. Yeah, right, that's life. And, and the judging, but you see, right, you right. But, but see, it's bad because when you're in the public eye, you'll lose the opportunity because mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, that's true. But the you don't really give a fuck that's that you're showing. That's but true. they give a fuck that you're showing, that's true. and you mm -hmm. lose the opportunity. So that's why people people ain't in the showing all the stuff that we show. We you're show right. a lot of nigga, a lot. I be giving niggas step by step. This is what I'm doing, nigga, and this is what's sitting. This is who I'm talking to, and this is what's going sure. on. People not doing that. That's a chance. I always say that's a chance that we take every day. That's why most people are not exposing who they really are. That's true. I went on a pod a couple weeks ago. The PBM um, Louis joint. Yeah, I went on Louis. You want know that shit called Bids and Bottles? Yeah, I went on. Shout out to Bids shout, and Bottles. Shout out to, to my niggas. Jersey. So I start getting phone calls. You know why they be calling him? Because he be doing shit for free. He them is part, I've he, known them niggas before know, no, they ever I'm picked talk, up. You I'm, not, I'm not talking about them specifically. I'm saying you, I've known you for I'm 20 talking, joint. You I'm, know not, what I'm, I'm not, yo, PBM Louie, I'm not talking nah. about you. <laughs> I'm talking about how he roll. Yeah, niggas I, will give him, I, I'll plug him. Niggas got to pay me to wear the clothes. He'll wear the shit for free. Yeah, I will. Right? But, and then, but, but you know what? What? But what? That, what? But, that, but that goes into me trying to help us. But then he'll wear it one time. I'm trying to help us. But listen, mm. he'll wear it one time. I wear it 50 times and fucking credit him. But as soon as he wears you it one time paid. for free. But as soon as he wears <laughs> yeah, it one so time for you free. Go. You got now, paid. And as soon as he wears it one time for No, you were supposed to fucking get paid and do what the fuck I do. So un niggas understand they got to pay niggas. You fucking the game up. No, stick that's together. Not, look, that's not sticking together. Yeah, no. And I know you are starting up business. I know Heineken is trying to get his motherfucking you gotta have a fitted promo. hats uh, off you, the market. You, you, you spend the money on something. You got a promo marketing budget, right? <laughs> then you say, then you say when you doing something, you need to read your book and do yes, your motherfucking you do. research. So if and, I can and help nothing you, nothing gonna no, tell you. Ain't no book gonna tell a nigga start your company without a promo marketing budget. Look. If I can help a black person or somebody get off the ground with their Black company, people always asking for something. We just said. We no, can, but they, we they just not. talked the whole thing. Yo, they asking no. for something. They, they, they go and place blame. They always well, looking the for something man, else. The white man got to pay. The white man's paying all the white man. You know that. You know who Ish is exactly. going to charge? <laughs> I know who Ish is going to charge. Dr. Umar Johnson. Nope, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. Yes, you I would wear shit. I like Omar. For free? I, I like him, yo. I For like free? Yo, dog, let me tell you something. I like this him, is, too. This I could be around this I promise you, yo. I ain't this, mad at him. This is something that was really eye-opening to all of us. Mm -hmm. Dog, that nigga cool as hell. He looked like Bruh, he cool. a lot he of that look, shit be cool his as brand. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's his brand. That's he why he was fucking deviate, with the white bitches, too. He can't deviate yeah. from his brand, bro. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That nigga came in like, yo, we got Philly in this bitch. What's good? He, Yo, he's... Listen, listen, Ish. Oh, he's from Philly? Yeah, he wasn't militant. Oh, oh, he wasn't none of that with us. Yeah. Yes. Now it oh, makes sense. My oh, my God. Shit, so, I mean, that's a hood-ass nigga. Bro, that nigga wasn't none of that shit that you see. We was bugging the fuck out in there. That was another thing, too. Like, I liked him, so I wasn't really trying to go. I could have so went for the jugular. it was more the production. Yeah, like, he's I, from, but listen, listen, let I me was, tell you. He's been doing this for double-digit years. Joe Button is doing this for double-digit years. Them niggas know how to turn it on and turn it off. I got haven't you. gotten there yet. Got These it. niggas are performative. Listen, they are selling a product, right? So Joe get mad at me and be like, yo, could you up your tonality, bro? Your voice, your voice, your yep. voice. And I'm like, yo, this is my voice. He like, ish, but we 
We selling something. We doing this, right? Joe could be sick, too fake, whatever. Ah! This nigga just starts screaming. That's how he's selling the show. You get what I'm saying? Dr. Umar had it where he could turn it on. <laughs> he's a too sick with a toothache. Yo, this nigga yep. just be in there like, ah! So, so we call him the flu button? <laughs> you get what I'm saying though? Like, yo, Dr. Umar outperformed me. He didn't outdata me. He didn't out um 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 factualize me. He got up there and he had and he already came in with I should have known better. He already came in with his point. And how did you process that? What was your process to realize? Because you had to think about it. When I got home? I don't give a uh, fuck. No, no, tell no, me. Just, just tell me your process um, of, of realizing that. I when I when I watched it back, when I watched it back. Certain things like this, I let him escape. Like I would ask him a question, he wouldn't answer it, and I let him rock. When I should have snapped, I no 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 no. Come here, get over here. Let's let's talk. Scorpion. I just asked you something. Mm-hmm. I just asked you something. Expound on what I just asked you. He couldn't have because there's no factual data to support what what he was saying. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Um. Um. I I could have really just I could have I didn't want to drag him. My nigga, I owned a construction company for twenty years. Mm. He been building a school for fourteen years. That's an oxymoron to me because I'm in this business knee deep for twenty joints. I didn't want to drag him because I want his school to to get finished. I want him to succeed. I don't want to make him look like another black scammer nigga that nobody should Mm. uh uh donate to his school because they wasting their bread. That's counterproductive from what he's trying to do. I didn't want to do that. Well, he needed to hire you then. Let's see. <laughs> Listen, I'm I know, saying. I know, I know. Hindsight's twenty twenty. You, get my, you <laughs> get my point? Like I didn't want to do that to him. Yeah, you could. So you, okay. so I mean, I mean, which is so funny. I cut the nigga some slack. Uh, yo, yo, I I, I'm, I'm gonna be I real. Then. Yo, you know who does that? He does that a lot. He lets niggas live. He cut niggas slack. Yeah, like let 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 niggas go and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. want me to you you don't, you never seen when it was nah, before. Bro, nah, he bro. had the meetings. They was like, nah, you still bro. making niggas scared? Nah, nah. I'm on cruise nah, control. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, bro. No, but I'm just saying. But even now, even when we was on the uh, 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 other show, he would step back and you know just chill out, cut niggas slack I because think- there's many people that we could really like. We try to make it. Uh, when I say we, I mean us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our, our style of people, we we try to make it comfortable for somebody to come on the show That's or to well have a conversation should, with yeah. us. That's well you should. And I know that you're not going to be blindsided with some BS for hits. They yeah. try to be, we don't try to be, we keep it quality mm-hmm. over quantity but, but at all times. Part of the reason why that interaction fucked with me, I know Esso and y'all are of the sim- similar mindset of how y'all behave. And I'm like, this nigga ish really turned off the faucet on multiple levels. Yeah, and I, I did. seen it. Well, I no, did. I and did. even 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 that was like, why didn't he? Because y'all the same style. And of I don't watch and I don't watch content, but when I saw that, it I made did. me watch some of it. I'm looking like, I'm like why? Ish and then people like, oh, look at ish. I'm like, yo, ish is chilling, bro. I mean, he let it ride. I, he he could have went. He could have went and supernova. And I said that to him. I said, I wonder why he. Yeah. He just let this shit ride like that and didn't say nothing because I would have said this. I would have said that. I was like, I don't know why he did that. Um. I would have had to drag them down. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I, why would I want? I don't want to do that. But most people in this space, and during this time, is looking for any way to give themselves the one up. That's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They and are. especially when you're on a big platform. That's true. And it could make you just look that much better. That's true. It might bring you more money, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just by getting more popular with That's coming true. at this dude. That's true. People not going to risk that opportunity. And, and we got to give the grace. Because Ish has been doing this so well on a high platform, we forget it's only been less than a handful of years you've been doing this. So people are coming at it as if you're a 20 year vet when it really is like three and a That's half. That's what I'm years. saying. Yo, he that nigga is a performer. Yeah, like, bro, he, it's he's way been different. Doing this shit for eons. He's speak. He he's on tour. The nigga tours, literally tours. He has his dates, tours all year long. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So the, and he got his talking points. He know I'm like the back of his hand. He knows everything that he going to say is damn Like, he knows how to run his sets. Bruh. Yeah. That makes sense. It's the triangle offense. Yep. He could do that shit. He could walk through the pit, could roll <laughs> off the pit with his eyes closed. You got what I'm saying? Like, he know <laughs> BJ Armstrong going to pop out right there. I, yeah. I could throw the ball over there. I don't even got to see gotta him over there. He the John Stockton of this. Yeah, like, I, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It, so, so again, shout out to Dr. Umar. I, I didn't take it um, nah. personally, none of the stuff. Did it that make you want to get sharper? Yeah, that's what mm. it did. That's what it did. It made me be like, all right, cool. You got to be more performative. Um, You got to research. I didn't research. 
the shit that I was saying to him, I knew off the top of my brain. Like but, but he, we brought up, uh, he brought up France for nine. He brought up France for nine. It's a book called uh, uh, um, Black Face White Mask, mm -hmm. right? And he was like, "Yo," and, for, and I'm like, "Dr. Umar, I'm a different type of nigga." Yeah, France for nine was in the 20s and 30s. Da, da, da. Like, and he's like, "Oh shit, so I, nigga, I'm well read." I'm, this is off of memory. This is not me studying you. This is not me studying topics for this particular um, guest that's coming on the show. I'm treating him like I treat everybody else. I didn't have to study for that. You get what I'm saying? So um, that's some things that, you know, I got to do. Like, my life is just so crazy and hectic that I don't even have time. Like, me and Joe have these conversations where I don't even really watch the pods as much. But doesn't that make... time, my nigga. But doesn't well, our that... pods is three hours long. We shooting four to five a week. So now you talking about an additional 12 hours out of my day, out of my life, to just rewatch what we doing. That's a lot of time. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes I don't have time to go watch all of our shit over. But I Impossible. thought that that's how you felt that, because I thought that you felt, because me and you didn't watch a lot of content, is what made our approach and our ideas and the way we did things fresh and, and different. True. So you feel differently now. No, so no, no. You, you I think, think that, that you should? I think that you and I, right, I, I look at us similarly. I think that because we not trying to be performative, it comes off as authentic and genuine mm -hmm. to the watcher. Okay. Right? Um, If we did go and watch podcasts and we tried to get sharper, we trying to get sharper to perform. And so now when you perform, it takes away a little bit of the authenticity, I think. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So um, I think I think it's a balance. I think it's a balance. So if Joe tells me, yo, your tonality is fucked up and it's not translating well to the listener, if I listen back and become the listener, now I can understand what he's I saying. I think I, I speak to him about it is as you do this, you're going to learn how to pick your spots. It's almost like before Jordan had Phil Jackson... He was just scoring, scoring, scoring. But when he got Phil, he's like, all right, pass here, chill, chill. Try oh, offense. Now, 10 points in a row. Boom, I'm going to get this rebound. And as, you know, people progress and get, you know, comfortable doing this, you're going to know, all right, I'm going to tone my voice down here. Now I'm going to raise it up this octave. These are the points. But you don't know to do that until you watch. I could have been. Like, it's times mm. that I'll do some shit. Or, like, Joe's mad funny, mad silly. You know I'm more reserved. It's times that I should have stepped into a joke more and been more a part of the joke for the moment. But my personality is not as such. But because I'm getting paid to do that, I need to step into the joke more. But the, I've hit that nigga and been like, but it's but you uh, naturally, it but it depends. But the thing, but the thing about that is, which is weird to me. I'm funny. I'm That's all we do is crack jokes. Say. The people like, that like, really like know me, me like you, yo, you silly like, as like shit. nigga. When me and him is together. If we bump into each other and move food, Whatever. are we doing anything? The it's first thing is a joke, yeah. nigga. The first thing is, oh, 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 are oh, you still walking like but this? But you know what? I think you don't joke as much. I think you're aware of your superpower. And if you and you already admitted it with Umar, you know it can get out of hand. Nah, In I'm my, just that's a how shy I person it. by nature. So sometimes okay. I don't really be, like, if I'm comfortable with niggas, like off cam, I'm silly. I'm oh no, you having fun. But once I'm comfortable with you, it's you know it, it is what it is. But even like cameras and shit, I'm not a fan of that. Me neither. But I've gotten used to it. Yo, bro, when we used to first when we first started, mm -hmm. I, I, I used to have to fucking drink, smoke. Like I'm I'm a fucking I'm yeah. sweating. Like people are really right there looking at me at the moment, my dude. <laughs> no, you know I, what I'm saying? Been, yeah. I'm like, it took me over a year yeah, and some change to be like, yo, okay, the cameras is is not a factor. You gotta put in all that different type true. of work and That's shit true. too. Yeah. But I just be wondering because I'd be like, yo, and I know you and Joe is close. But and I'm like, is it's not doing this because Heineken will not do something so somebody else could fill a void. I was about to say, so I think that I think that when you're on a team too, mm -hmm. we kind of got set roles. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So, um, um, Joe is loud. Joe is commanding. So us being commanding together. It's eh, not gonna. It's, it's gonna and, overload. It's, gonna, it's clash. It's yeah. clash. So the times that. I'm I'm commanding is when we might get into it. You know what I mean? Or if it's something talking about that I'm passionate about, like uh real estate or um family. Um, helping us. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Black people shit. Like I'm passionate about those things, so it'll translate. You get what I'm saying? Uh on on camera. But other shit, like I'm just in the cut. Mm -hmm. 
I'm in the cut. It's the same way I am in real life. If we're in the club and niggas is taking pictures, I'm over there. I'm not in the pictures. I'm just over there chilling. You know what I'm saying? That's just who I am, and that's how my personality is overall. So that's authentic. That's genuine. Um, uh, that's not always true. Because when you're in Say Less, you in every picture. <laughs> Yo, like, like you own that spot. That's not You true. got trailers. He lives, he lives you got movies. I agree, Heineken. Yo, you don't every other restaurant, okay, you don't we ever see, see him. him. You've been in Say Less with we, me. We see him. You've been in Say Less with me. I've been, yeah. You've been Yo, in Say Less with me. Yo, me, you and I. That's I how I got Yo, come on, come on. I been, already. Wait, come on. I was in Say Less with you. Mm -hmm. Me, you and Ice, mm -hmm. Bianca and all that, and, and we was turned up, and we wasn't oh, in the back. We was I was turned up. up. Yo, we was all turned up. Stop it. We was turned up. What? Stop it with it the game. Even self had to come over and said, this is where the oh, party at. Yo, he we like, yeah, nigga. No, that ain't what he said. He came and got Bianca because she was his assistant or whatever she, at, she a, 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 at that time. Right? But she's on a podcast now. She came to get Bianca and said, yo, you can't chill over here with the party niggas. It's time to go work. I Look, need you to. I, I bought you yeah, to work. Yeah, she's like, fuck your uh, Gotti. I'm going to end Glorilla. I'm going to chill was, with these niggas. It was niggas. your Gotti and Glorilla, and we had that shit fucking chunking. It say less. They had it time. I just don't happen to be with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. These niggas is a. I don't drink. I'm not. Y'all niggas is old fashioned and all of that. I'm chilling. <laughs> y'all let me let me get a, a ginger beer. I'm yo, chilling. You you think sexy red is fucking the game up? Is she necessary? Is she watering down things? Cause no, that's the I narrative think, I think now. Hip hop is watered down. I think hip hop is about the quick money. I think music, period, is about the quick money. Yep. I think it's no artist development, and I think these niggas is not honing their skills to become better artists. They just getting a quick buck because uh -uh. we know that the life of an artist is not important no more. Mm -mm. There's a million people ready to Microwave. take their spot. But and, and they ain't getting no bucks. They only getting clout and fame, and they trying to use it to, to fuck bitches and then else. go do something True. else. Yeah, I mean, right now, the goal, I think even with podcasting now, it's get your clout, People are not making money off the things they're getting notoriety from currently mm -hmm. right now. They're just getting money off of other opportunities and deals. And that's really what it is in every business. And so it's been sitting here and saying, yo, they're going to shut this podcast pipeline down. It's only going to be 2% of podcasters that can actually make a living I'm telling just podcasting. I'm telling y'all because I agree with that. because everybody listen if we people, see it people and I'm not mad at people coming to pot you no. know what I'm saying because all it is is making pot and the whole phenomenon bigger right yeah. but what y'all are doing is when everybody's rushing to pot and it's starting to become like the rap game and not the money part just to being able to be disposable mm -hmm. you follow what I'm saying That's because real. now I just spoke about somebody who we used to work with and nobody talks about them as much no more so it's like a rapper like Potter's was living forever like like when when i wasn't potting and the potting world was crazy the same niggas was potting for 20 fucking years and they were the same motherfuckers now niggas is dying out and people are looking for other pods and other things to go to now and, but so 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 it's business yo so listen to this right po podcasting especially in our in our demo is relatively new mm -hmm. all right so Everybody thing is easy, yo. Just cut the mics on. I'm smart. I could talk. Mm -hmm. It's not that. Mm -hmm. It's not that. You got to be compelling, my nigga. You got to make niggas want to watch you. You got to make niggas want to see you. So, I, and again, I, I, I big up Joe so much because Joe Button has done something that none of these niggas could do. That's true. Right? Make niggas pay to watch me. I'm listening. Mm-hmm. And None we, of these niggas mm -hmm. have somebody that pays religiously to watch your content. Mm -hmm. And feed I don't it. even want to say their names, but none of them. I, I don't give a fuck. You line them up. None of them have done it, one. Number two, my nigga, if our episode don't drop at 8 o'clock in the morning, these niggas is on my, yo, what the fuck <laughs> y'all <laughs> niggas doing, yo? This some bullshit. Yo, what the fuck? Did we like, just tell delivering, you that? delivering on expectation, fam. So, and then just you, and, you but then you continuously deliver mm -hmm. and meet their expectations. That's that's rugged. Girls basketball is going on right now. It's just they are delivering at a high clip. And right? you know who's the first person to say that? This man right here. They they he, doing some shit that they we've never seen done in female sports. Right? They delivering at a different level of a clip, right? So now, what does it behoove NBC, CBS, and all them to do? 
put the same machine behind girls basketball for next year because it's proven profitable. Mm -hmm. And podcasting, yeah, we giving all these niggas all this bread, but now these niggas is falling. Now these niggas can't get nobody to watch their shit. Now, so the money that we putting out is not coming back to us. It's proving to not be that big of a vehicle that we thought it was before. But you know why that is? And I just, it just mm. came to me, the same old hate. So when you signing these $40 million, $100 million deals... But they were giving it to the wrong people, though. It wasn't. Yeah, they were. Yo, no, no, no. It took a, a lot of the wrong yeah, people, and they crapped out. And now they they looking back because they didn't get what they wanted, you get, thinking they was going to get a return. And they yeah. Bitterness. In sports, you get drafted on potential. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. We've seen mad... But you get a contract. Look, we've get, in sports, you get drafted on your potential. When you're a rookie... They think you're going to do X. You get a record deal off get your a rookie potential. Deal. Yeah, but you know their numbers. Because you're looking at them. I know how much this nigga scores. I no, 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 no. See, you you're not a sports person. No, you don't. But you're not you saying. Don't. Collins ain't got you know nothing that, to do with the pro. It doesn't did. translate. Look, you know what they did it doesn't in translate. college playing against 18-year-olds. 18 18-year-olds. 18 it you doesn't translate they to the men. When LeBron at 270 is D in you. It's totally different. It's a different ball. You don't know what he's going to do. It's easy for you to do this when it's just your demographic, your people. It's easy for you to sit in your local barbershop and have niggas falling out laughing. Exactly. Can you do that with white people? Can you, now can you get in front of a mic at a uh, uh, West Side Comedy Club and make these people fall laugh out loud that don't know you and don't care about you? Now we giving and you, you don't money. know what they like. You don't know nothing. We giving you money now based on what we think you can do. Yes. And these people are not delivering. And so now the people that are delivering are sitting there like, uh -huh. <laughs> told you so. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not as easy. And then we're not even talking about the monetization piece. Like, everybody like, oh, yo, Ish, you can start your own podcast. My nigga, I doubt it. I, maybe I could. I don't want to jinx myself or say talk down on myself. But it's still mad shit that I don't know or wouldn't know how to do. That shit would be, again, like going to it's school daunting. to learn some new shit that I don't got time to learn, my nigga. So my ego ain't in that. I don't got to yeah. go jump off and do my own shit. You get what I'm saying? I don't have to do that. I'm not, that's not my goal. My no, goal your is main to objective. own Manhattan. <laughs> like, I want to honey unit, Yo, skyscraper buildings. That's what my brain is. Ish. How are we going to get parking lots? Because that's one of the most yeah. idiot proof. Yes. Y'all not. It's getting worse over here. Why do you think everybody moving to Jersey? Yeah. No, Jersey's the new everybody California. Everybody been moving to Jersey. Yeah. No, Jersey. Motherfuckers, yeah. as soon as motherfuckers got money, everybody, oh. everybody moving to right. Jersey. Right, but now the people without money, are moving to Jersey. Jersey really? <laughs> because I'm telling you, seriously, the areas that didn't typically have New York residents, Bergen mm. County had the New Yorkers. Yeah. It's close. You know what I'm saying? The tunnel's right there. Now they mid the Jersey, South right Jersey. There. No, nigga. Now they everywhere in Jersey because the trains are now getting Going to New York everywhere. in 20 and 30 minutes. Gotcha. Even if you sit on a train for 45 or 50 minutes from somewhere farther out in New Jersey, now I got land. I got a good school system. I could drive to Target. I don't got to fucking take it's a, a cab. It's a nicer train yeah. to deal with. You're yes. not dealing with I don't got to be on a path. I'm still on a fucked up train. So now I'm going to just take a plush train. Yeah. My yeah. taxes is cheaper. You get what I'm saying? All of those things are proven to be quality of life when you quality are life. raising a family. When you single, it's something different. Your man is going viral right now. Oh, Joe. Oh. Because he said Kendrick Lamar won over J. Cole. Oh, yeah, he did. It's, yeah, I heard that. Nah, it's trending. I'm like, what is this? What you think? About what? I Kendrick. think I think everybody, everybody got their thing. Everybody I think, Cole said, jabbed, I think Cole jabbed him. I think that I think Cole's being nice to him. He is. I think Cole didn't. Cole Cole I, said a couple of things, but I think Cole. Yo, I think Cole's very very respectful, and people wanted Cole to pull the gloves off. I I think that he's low key telling them because you know who did you know what you know who. That's what I think. I think that who said who's saying that Cole Cole is saying that to him. He he makes mention to yo. We really know you. We really know you, but this is the thing. If you know some shit about somebody that the world don't know, you can end them. I don't know Kendrick. I don't know Cole. What I'm saying is, this is the hard part with battle rap. The hard part with battle rap is gathering the information. All of these niggas can rap. All of these niggas can put words together. 
But if I find out something about you that the world don't know, now my, my I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to flip it and make it so fucking poetic that it's going to destroy you. It's hard to fight a nigga that you don't know nothing about. It's That's corny true. at that point. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I don't know nothing about you, it's hard to really... Go listen to when... when Back to back. Back to no, back. No, go listen to when Joe and Drake was beefing. Do that. For y'all. You, you talking about the verbiage and the wordplay? That play? nigga put out five cannons. Boom, 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 boom. Who did Drake and Joe? Joe. Oh, okay. These niggas that could really rap and could really write, once they get information, my nigga, it's child's play at that point. So if, if Cole, his lyrical ability is good enough that if he start getting some shit, he going to word it appropriately. Kendrick is going to word it appropriately. And this is what I think niggas is playing. Niggas really be playing this nigga Drake like he can't rap. Mm, that nigga has a pen. He just bored and be putting out all these experimental projects because he bored. It's nothing for him to accomplish in rap. It's nothing for Beyonce to accomplish in R&B and pop music. That's that why she, she has not country. already done it. So now I'm just... I'm just challenging myself to put this dance album out. I'm challenging myself to put this country album out because there's nothing that I can't do and I've proven that I can't do an R&B and pop. Do you think Drake should respond? Of course he should. That, I, agree. I think the competitor in him is going to respond. I agree. But I keep saying, What's up, if S? supposedly Drake and Cole started this in the first person shooter anyway. They did. Right? They did it. Now when you get the real niggas that be knowing, they be like, yo, go listen to Kendrick on this from three years ago. Look, go listen to gotcha. this nigga over there from so three years going, ago. So it been it's been they rumbling. They said that these niggas... It's been rumbling. Like, uh, Ice mm -hmm. is my go-to for that type of shit. Okay. Ice will give you the, 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 song, the, the cliff notes. verse. Yes. He good yo, for that. Kendrick said this on this song. Ice, how the fuck do you pull that out? That's yo, his like, thing. off his memory. It's not memory, yo. Yo. memory like... He been doing that for years. That is so annoying that I know you now... That is so annoying that I can't do that shit. Yo, like, dog. Ice will say, yo, in 2017, <laughs> when Kendrick said blah, 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 on this song, he was shooting that cold. Yeah. I hate you, Ice, for this <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? So supposedly, these niggas been taking shots for a long time. I think Drake just came off tour. I think Drake is now going to go in hiding. And, and he finished in Jersey. And I think he's going to go ape shit. What you think it goes? Come on, goes. Oh, hold on, hold on. What did you? No, no. What did you hear? And what? And say? And say? It's, it's fill it. Niggas is loaded, and some niggas got. So who's loaded and who's not loaded? Nobody shot they load because ain't nobody say shit. No, I what he's saying, no, no, no. I be knowing key information. They don't know the producers. Give us they some insight. They got a pistol and this nigga got who, a pistol. All right. Who, wait them all out. right. Who waits them out? Who, who, has the, who has the pistol? Kendrick got the automatic. Who? Come give on, us, Give us one name. Who has the pistol or who who's, has the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's add it. Who's, no, who's ready for war right now out of the three? Kendrick. Kendrick. Who is that? Who is that? Kendrick. Kendrick is ready. Kendrick's for war. ready for war. Yeah. Let's go. Cole can't be ready for war because Cole, the war got bought to him. Hey, listen. That whole you fuck who it's like okay, little boy. Ooh. <laughs> we gonna see. Damn, Backfield got all exclusives. <laughs> oh yeah, nah. I, 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 I think I just think that. All these niggas can rap, bro. So it's the, just about compiling the information. And once you get the information, I think all of these niggas had a ly lyrical ability to destroy each other. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, you can't give Beans and Kiss mad information about each other because they going to put it together and word it accordingly. So now we just going to have a slug fest. And that's what Beans and Kiss was. It was a slug fest of just two lyrically nice niggas wowing. Yeah. Kendrick may not have Metro with him this whole ride. Mm. So my knock on Kendrick Lamar is, is he lyrically gifted? Yes. If you read what he's writing, that shit is impeccable. He should have won a Pulitzer Prize. But when it comes to music, for me... And beats, and you have to make it melodic yeah, and pleasing to the I ear. Can't get with that, I don't ride with Kendrick I with that pleasing to the ear. I can't get with him. I can't get I can't, with him. I don't understand so, it. Drake will fuck around and throw on some... Dope shit. And I'm going to be rocking to that shit. Yeah, yeah, Smoking yep, to that yep. shit. Laughing to that shit. Word, but yeah. You get what I'm saying? But, so, but the preference is, 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 where, I mean, is where the mass is going to go. That's true. We, we, yeah. But everybody got their own preference. So Drake fan base, Kendrick fan but, but base, if Cole's fan base. Right, the ether wasn't a club record. 
But that bro, they played that shit. But they talk about Ethan, bro. They played bro, that bro, shit bro, in the bro, club. Bro. No, you, it don't got to be a club record. It ain't like e- see, y'all e- talking Ethan, to the wrong nigga, and I don't want to make the headlines. Ethan is okay. Ethan is top three most phenomenal yeah. response records of all time. Oh, your fucking mind. Yes, your queen's by. No, somebody. no, because you that a Jay Z fan. Oh, I hey, am a Jay Z. Hey, fan. come a Jay Z fan. But no, Jay Z not even gonna come into this. Beans and Kiss did way more than Nas. Ice Cube, no Vaseline, way more than Nas. Pac hit him up, way more than Nas. Nah. Ethan, don't I'm come give, into this conversation. I'm going to give Pac, I'm going to go Pac hit him up, Ether, Ether and, back and back to back. back. Those three right there. No Vaseline? Nah, nah. I'm going to go with no Vaseline. No that's, Vaseline that's, that's, that, that, that's number four for me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't put that in the top. Ether that, is at... Ether, Ether ba- back to what, back what, 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 and what, hit what, him up. record. Which one? I don't Exactly, right. Ether. Man, I'm. I would put. Yo, it's so many disc records I would put over Ether. But what? No Vaseline you put nah. over Ether? Nah. Hell yeah. Nah. No Vaseline is no. a better listener. Got no Vaseline. Hell yeah. No Vaseline. Yeah, no. What did he, whoa, what did he whoa, say? Whoa. Ethan, I was you so bugging. prolific. No Vaseline is Brooklyn. a better listener than Ether. Yes. Nah, bro. Yo, man, we about to end this episode. We are. Yeah, we man, definitely are. Yeah, this shit. Yo, 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 whiskers like a rat compared yo, to... Yo, that shit is corny. Yo, y'all listen, nigga, New York listen, niggas yo, be listen, on that shit. Yo, listen. I got two the books for you. The best shit of it is... Fuck Jay-Z. Boom. That shit come on, you be like, whoa. That shit shake the earth. But when that nigga starts rapping, Fem, he's not saying nothing. You're bugging. You are out you know of the your ever you know the loving words? mind. As soon as the beat come on, I can recite the words. As soon as the beat come on, you know how that goes. As soon as that beat come on, I got all Jay-Z. the words. That shit be like, oh, that shit, man. Yo, Ron Browse. <laughs> yo, he called. Yo, I got two books for you. Okay. They over there. Some dude from Philly sent it to me, and he wants me to get involved in books. I said, the only dude that I know <laughs> that knows about a good read is going to be Ish. So That's when you watch this, I'm giving it to Ish. If Ish says it's a go, it's a go, right? I appreciate it, yo. Nah, I don't... See, go, go on. Go. No, 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 do your thing. We, we could just do this shit all day. No. Nah. Yo. Organically. Bag Fuel Brigade, though, sign up. It's only $5, man. We we finally got y'all subscribing. We getting them followers. It's pumping. Keep it going. On so, what? So pa- jo- Patreon? Nah, we just got it on. What you got it on? It's on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. It's, YouTube it's on YouTube gotcha. subscription. Okay. We try to make it easy. Gotcha. We not we not Joe Buttons in them where we can take people off of one platform and move them to yeah, another no, no, platform. No, no. That's so God level. We want to get our weight up first That's and dope. get the subscriptions That's popping dope. and get the appreciation going. Then we can sp- switch it over to I just Patreon got one and do tears and stuff. Why weren't you a part of the Candace Owens um, sit down? Was that a request? He's light skin. No, um. That's, or just that shit above my pay grade. Like I, it's not. I don't. I ain't had nothing. No, because you know, I think it would. It just would have made. No, but, people said that. People said that. But that you know, that's that's. And she might have been afraid. She wouldn't have been wow. afraid. You know what it would. have... You know, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna speak on it. That would have. I fuck with her though. That would have put Ish too much on the platform. Mm. Even if Ish didn't think so. Even if it was about Joe and them. Ish being next to Candace Owens in the key discussion with, yeah. with Joe Buttons, it puts him on another stratosphere, and ain't nobody want to fuck with that. And as much as Ish is loyal and not starting his own thing or whatever, as businessmen, we always talk about business, right? That's a business move. That's like Jay-Z having beans, right, and only shipping gold. Beans was never going to be platinum. He didn't know that. They was only going to ship gold. So you're never going to be bigger than me, nigga. Huh? You think? Yeah, I know. You don't think beans? Uh. Beans, beans was gonna be gold no matter what happened. So Yo. Let me ask you this: If they ship gold, mm-hmm. right? If they ship gold and the demand is such that it's flying off the shelf, they they're not gonna they're not gonna fulfill the demand. Really? Really? <laughs> it's like hold up. Jay Z has to be the top dog. What are you talking about? Who saw more than Jay-Z and Rock Kim had a phenomenal album, didn't he? And Kim had the way. He went platinum. I know. I said sell more. Kim had the way. Jewels, Jim Jones, Kim had the way so much. Wait, talking about Kim had the wave so much, he spun off and did Dipset. And there's an iconic, legendary hip hop group. But Dipset was under a label too. And how Dipset didn't sell so, more than Jay-Z. Come on, stop it. 
Dipset had a phenomenon. What are you talking about? Juwells was supposed to be the hottest thing since cooked food, nigga. We can talk about this. People forget now. about that. Mm. See, see, niggas look at niggas old. Niggas forget Juwells was the youngest nigga, mm. okay? He had the pulse of the culture. He was on fucking fire, nigga. Mm -hmm. And he was a part of Dipset. Jim Jones, Dipset was so strong. Jim Jones, who wasn't even known as a solo a nigga, became a rapper and got hits, nigga. So how the fuck these niggas ain't selling four, five million? Come on, bro. It's a business move. I'm Respect the ceiling, Ish. Yeah, we going to discuss Jay, Jay Z and Nas is part three with Ish. I'm going to disagree with you off camera. I'm about to cook his muffin. I'm about to cook his muffin. No, don't do me like Dr. Uh, Umar. Yeah, you yeah. got something to say, say it. <laughs> Yeah, you got something to say, yeah, say it, yeah. nigga. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Tips to new people who like, because I know a lot of people that buy homes and then shit is wrong with them later on or whatever, something happens. And finding help to fix the house is a pain in the ass. It's trial and error, yo. Um, mm -hmm. Even with that, people don't want to pay. There you go. So you'll hear from us, right? From our, from our demo. Yo, man, I'm going to just go hire some Mexicans. Yep. Yo, I'm gonna just go to Home Depot and get all, some all the way to or Lowe's. Look, I did that and lost so, money. So listen, when you do that, you get you, that you job. rolling the dice. You rolling the dice. So sometimes you will get a seven on the dice, and sometimes your ass you know gonna tap out on the dice. My niggas just stopped showing up. Yeah. While I was midway through the midway. job, so and I had to call a white man who was federally insured, and he came with all the right paperwork and the documents. And when sign. you call me, guess what I'm gonna do? No Vaseline. <laughs> Fuck shit. Mm. We getting it right yo, there. Oh, yo, tear we doing consultations ass. again. Inquire about the consultations. <laughs> DM us. Follow this man ish. Yeah. Give him your handle ish on, on that Instagram. Ish. That's that ish on Instagram, and you can see him on the Joe Button podcast. Yeah. We got a whole bunch of we got a pop up shop coming up June eighth. Mm -hmm. We got commercials running. Just pay attention. We building. I'm we doing, ain't stopping and, no and, time and, soon. And, I'm about you know, to start doing the consultations too. I just got to figure out how to. Monetize it and you know. Make sure you charge them so you'll make me look bad. I am. No, I am. No, 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 I just get. I get Because you'll fuck around and be like, oh, free okay. consultation. No, I did. Let me tell you what happened. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. So, you know, oh, <laughs> no, I'm going to explain. I start selling, selling the merch. I start selling. Well, it ain't even merch. It ain't even merch. It's clothes. So, I started the clothing line and I started selling it. And um, the price supposedly was an issue, right? Again, for us, the price is an issue always for us. Niggas will go spend Gucci. They spend seven thousand dollars. Four hundred dollar bucket people. hats. Yeah, Gucci. like yo, dog. The white man ice is always colder than ours. So, like, I, it was even reviews. Like, oh my god, I can't believe the quality is so amazing. This is it right here. Why can't you believe that? Because it came from us. People verbalize. I can't believe it. I'm so happy that I'm shocked. That I'm surprised that. The quality's so good. You surprised that we did something good? Is the quality so good? Is that why you, you ain't bring us one? Yeah. No, I, I just... Because we're not I'm working. sold out. No, 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 I'm sold out. Damn, I got we you. sold out before oh, the right, promo. Right. See ya? Hollywood. <laughs> you so, so you got you, you got real estate library. We don't have to call you sold out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Umar came for you. Yeah. Light skin niggas selling no, out. <laughs> so I started giving consultations to the first hundred people that bought a hoodie. Oh, my God, right? yo. Like, subscribe, super but, thanks. No. That, that shit... Like, subscribe... Super thanks. We don't talk about nothing for free on this motherfucker. Yeah. That's when we end it. Uh, Bye. Man, See y'all niggas later. And tell your homegirl, answer the DMs. Uh.